Hey, welcome into the shop for the first time. We actually pulled the FC150 in because we wanted to get a little bit of work done on the steering and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about how this steering went together because none of it as, as it was stock. We had to change it all because of a couple of reasons. 35 inch tires, big lift, and the angles just weren't working right. They were binding up. So come on forward, let's take a look at the front end. Now, a few of my viewers have been mentioning that I talk way too much. Eh, well, sorry if that's the case. Feel free to skip to this timestamp and you won't have to listen to any of that. Now, when we're talking about the FC150, we first have to remember what it originally had. Now, since it's a forward control, the steering box has to reverse backwards from where the steering wheel is to be able to turn the linkage or push the arms to adjust the steering left and right. So when adapting it to a few things that are a little bit more modern, like power steering, as well as a different track bar and drag link, you have to decide how to, one, cram all that in there, and two, what's the safest and best way to do it. Now, there's a lot of aftermarket support for steering for off-road vehicles, but some applications don't make sense. One specific one would be full hydraulic steering. This is a uh, ram-based steering. It's completely attached to the actual frame support with two arms that come down, and then hydraulic fluid pushes the wheels left and right. Now, power steering works the same way, but there's still a direct connection between the steering wheel and the actual wheels. So let's say the off chance that you're off-roading and you cut a steering line. If that's the case, with a mechanical steering, you're fine. You can keep on steering it, it'll be super hard, but you can do it, it works like a manual gearbox. With full hydro, if you cut or smash a line, or let's say bend a ram arm, your steering's left pretty much inert. It's not gonna work. So I didn't wanna go full hydraulic, and the only other option was power steering or putting it back manual. I decided to go with power steering. Now, one particular strange bit about this is that the steering box is inverted, meaning it's pointing forward. Check the description out. I've put a link to the actual listing where I bought the power steering box because you need two things that are not like a normal car. One, the power steering box is reversed, meaning that the power steering arm points forward. Now, this is mainly for left-hand drive cars, but the problem with it is if it was on a left-hand drive car, the armature would be swinging the wrong way. So I also had to find a box that was designed to go on the driver's side of a car, but point the actual steering knuckle forward. So that link's in the description. Feel free to check it out. Now, if you want to do this upgrade to your FC 150 or 170, I would be more than happy to send you all the information that I figured out or explain what exactly I did in more detail. We appreciate you for tuning into this episode and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.